Jesus sends out the twelve disciples. As you go, preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, now freely give. Matthew 10 verse 7 and 8. Matthew 10. Jesus had twelve students, called disciples, who traveled with him from town to town. And he was teaching them about the kingdom as they went along. Jesus often used examples called parables to explain kingdom principles to his followers. He did this so that they could understand everything he was teaching and then apply it to their lives. Large crowds of people often follow Jesus from place to place to hear him teach. Jesus had compassion on them and healed all the sick people they brought to him. The harvest is plentiful. Jesus explained to his disciples as he motioned to the crowds of people who gathered around them. But the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest to send workers into his fields. Jesus was explaining to his disciples that there are many people who have not yet heard the good news of the kingdom and that he would soon send them out as his representatives. One day Jesus called his disciples and said to them, You have seen me doing many miracles through the Holy Spirit whom the Father has given to me. Now I give you the same authority through the Holy Spirit. These are the names of Jesus' twelve disciples. Simon, who they called Peter. Andrew, Peter's brother. James, the son of Zebedee. And his brother John. Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, who used to be a tax collector, Thaddeus, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon the Passionate, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus to the Jewish council to be crucified. After his death, Judas Iscariot was replaced by Matthias. These disciples later became the first apostles to carry the good news of the kingdom to the ends of the earth. Jesus sent out his disciples telling them to do everything that they have learned from him. Start out by going to the lost, confused people right here in this neighborhood. Tell them that the kingdom is here. Jesus blessed them and said, The same authority I have, I give to you. Bring health to the sick, raise the dead, Touch the untouchables, kick out the demons. Jesus also said to them, You have been treated generously, so live generously. Here we discover that Jesus trusts us to do what he can do. The same Holy Spirit who worked in Jesus also works in each of his followers. We are his kingdom representatives when we tell other people about the good news of the kingdom. Memorize. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to obey everything I have commanded. Matthew 28 verse 19 and 20.